What is up, my buttery biscuits? So in today's video, I have my March anti haul. Um, just in case you guys are curious about this look, I did create a tutorial on it. Look, y'all, a lot of people who do their makeup on YouTube, they'll literally change their backdrop, change their shirt, something like that, you know, to make it look like it's a different video. Me, I'm just too lazy, and I'm like, you know what, if I'm going to do my makeup, I might as well film another video. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now, filming my anti haul after doing a full tutorial, and I haven't done a full tutorial in a long time. Um, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll go ahead and leave a card right up here, that way you guys can click on it and watch a tutorial on this look. This is my second time using the Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star. Speaking of the Bloodlust palette, the giveaway will be ending on March 10th, so make sure you guys go enter. Um, not the video that I just mentioned right now. That's going to be in my, um, the giveaway is going to be in the video of the review, and it says plus giveaway in the title, so that way you guys know you're entering in the right comment section to enter your chance to win a brand new Bloodlust palette. So... Moving forward, you guys, I just want to give a little disclaimer as I do every single month whenever I do my anti-hauls. I think a lot of people think too negatively of them. It's really not that deep. As I mentioned before, you guys, I'm sorry if you guys are on my channel all the time. Then you guys already know this, this whole little spiel that I have going on. But if you guys are new here and you don't know what an anti-haul is, it's literally just chit-chat on products that you don't plan on purchasing. It's not meant to be shady. It's not meant to be... Well, sometimes it's meant to be shady. Let me be honest. <laughs> every time I mention a Morphe product in my anti-haul, it's meant to be shady let me just keep it real but um it's literally just chit chat like think of it as you're shopping with your friend and you're like hey what do you think about this palette and they're like oh no i don't like it oh that's too expensive that's literally all it is it's not too deep and i know every single time i give a disclaimer but that's because i always see several comments of people like you don't need to be talking about what you're not gonna buy just don't buy it and i'm like it's just chit chat y'all that's it it's not that deep it's literally just chit chat Anyways, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm starting to learn now how much the like button really does affect the algorithm. So if you guys like my content, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, let's go ahead and jump just right on into this anti-haul. The first thing that I want to start off with is this box of five sponges, and specifically the box, okay? The box of five sponges from ColourPop. Now... The reason why is I'm kind of like, why do you need this many sponges? I mean, I guess, okay, maybe if you're like lazy to like wash them and stuff like that, but I don't know, I just don't see the need to have so many different shapes. And I have to be honest with you, the main reason why I'm kind of like, ooh, I don't know about this. Oh, I'm sorry, I said it was ColourPop. This is our, wait. Oh, it says Hour, I am so dumb. I was like, it says ColourPop, but then I'm like, it says Hourglass. So I was thinking of the brand Hourglass, but that's just the shape of the middle wood. So I was like, wait, it's Hourglass. Um, anyways, you guys, sorry. I don't see the need to have so many different sponges, but um, I guess if you're working as a freelance makeup artist, you may want to pick this up. I did get a little bit like scared though, like I was going to mention, because when I got my um, BoxyCharm box, if you guys seen my video, I tried using out the sponges that they gave in there. I think it was from Luxie. And Y'all, those sponges were so horrible to me. I absolutely hated them. And this looks like the same type of box that those came in. So I'm kind of like, ooh. I know ColourPop and Luxie are obviously two totally different brands. But I just have a feeling they're going to be the same type of texture. And I really hated that. So that's just not something that I would buy. Next on the list is Dior. Okay, I don't know. Maybe, it's, is it just me? Maybe I'm just cheap. It's the broke in me. That I'm just like... Who spends $38 for a lipstick? Y'all know I was complaining about the Hermes one. You know what I mean? Like, that was like $67. I was like, who spends $67 for a lipstick? Like, you just have, mo like, money just to throw away. I don't get it. And honestly, you guys, look, everyone has their own taste and stuff like that. But I wouldn't even look at this and be like, oh, this is a collector's piece, you know? A lot of people did say, you know what, the Hermes one, if you're a makeup collector, it's, like, really cute. But I personally just didn't see the beauty in it, personally. Um... And on top of that, too, for $67, I was just like, no. Same thing with this Dior lipstick. I'm just kind of like, $38? $38. By the way, you guys, um, most of the things that I get on my anti-hauls are from Trend Mood. So shout out to Trend Mood. I love Trend Mood. They are just always posting the new products, what's coming out before they do. Um, I love Trend Mood. They're so bomb. Anyways, moving on. Okay, this, I already know y'all are going to be like, wait, what? <sighs> I want to talk about this because a lot of people are really, really excited for these cream blushes and cream bronzers from Fenty. And I know if ever I have something to say, it's kind of like, you know what, if I ever have something a little bit negative to say about Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I get hate. If I have something a little negative to say about Fenty, I get hate. Anything else is kind of like, okay, but those two brands is just like, bam, people are down your throat. Um, and I want to say this specifically for the swatches. I personally am going to go in person when these are out and I'm going to swatch them for myself because I really, really would like 
a good cream bronzer. I actually just put on cream concealer to use as a bronzer in my previous video. Um, where I did a tutorial on this look. I really like it. I feel like it's so much easier than powder. Powder takes more time. Um, but the, the swatches, the swatches. I am literally just sitting here like, okay, that shade Amber, it is so gray. And it's la It's not labeled as a, as a contour. It's literally, well, unless, you know, it's a mistake, I don't know. But it's literally here as blush and bronzer. And that's the thing to me, excuse me, that I'm sitting here tripped out like, why is it so gray? Like, it looks like a cement gray. And then the one next to it just like, or not, sorry, not the one next to it, the shade Teddy. That looks like a mustard yellow. So I'm literally, like, I'm honestly tripped out. Like, I am going to go check it out in person for myself. So maybe I can do a review on them. So I know this is in my anti-haul and I may purchase it. I know. But I'm saying, judging by the swatches, if it does look like that, I 100% will not be purchasing it. And everyone's so excited about this. Like, maybe the blushes, okay, the blushes look cute. But I'm just so thrown off by the bronzers. They don't look like like bronzing tones like I, I'm just tripped out I'm really curious to see them in person maybe it's the flash photography maybe it's I, I don't know I'm gonna try to find an excuse but specifically that shade amber and the shade teddy is just throwing me off so much mustard yellow and gray for bronzer I don't know I just don't get it Okay, next on the list is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Highlighting Palette. And everyone's like, you know, making a big deal on Twitter like, oh, the OG's coming back, the good's coming back. And I'm just kind of like, y'all, like, don't we all have highlighting palettes at this point? Like, what is so different about this that makes you need it? You know, is it like a new formula? It's not labeled as a new formula. Like, what is new about it? You know, because I feel like Anastasia for a while there was coming out with so many different highlighting palettes that it was just like whoa you know like there's so many coming out and obviously there was like what was it like moon child or something like that moon something or another that um you know had different tones and it had like one shifted green one shifted blue one shifted purple like things like that obviously it's different but a palette like this um i just look at it and i'm kind of like i feel like everybody kind of has highlights like this and okay serious question here because y'all know okay look while I was working at Mac I used to freelance on the side and I had like just so many highlights and I'm not kidding you guys like you guys let me know I was doing so many makeups per week this is you know obviously years ago and my my highlighting palettes literally looked untouched like highlighting palettes to me I kind of feel like last forever so who really needs this I don't know I just look at it and I'm kind of like uh nah not really like not really interested in it because it's something that I have so many of and the colors don't look any different than anything that's already out there you know I know actually she did this palette before right I believe um yeah I believe she did do this palette before if I'm not, I could totally be wrong but I remember a couple years ago Nicole Guerrero came out with the palette with them um but I'm just kind of like why release it again now I don't know um but hey kudos to Nicole Guerrero and you know hopefully it's successful but this is just not something I'm interested in okay so <laughs> Okay, be real in the comment section, y'all. Like, be real. Do not lie to me because I'm really curious about this. After everything was breaking out about, and I don't mean breakouts as far as, like, skin, like, breaking out, like, popping up, you know? About Kylie's skin and her using walnuts and her face scrub, which is, like, totally damaging to the skin. And then she, like, did this video where she's washing her face, but she's not really washing her face. You know, like, all that shady stuff. Does anybody out there really trust Kylie's skin? Like, okay, there's some good things from, um, you know, Kylie Cosmetics. Yes, Kylie's skin y'all i'm i'm a little like careful with what i put on my face and after seeing her do that i was like girl you are being so shady like no she's not even using her own products you know that 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 raises a red flag if somebody comes out with a product and they're not even using it that's when it's kind of like um i don't know so anyways Kylie Skin is coming out a coming out <laughs> coming out with a brand new broad spectrum SPF face sunscreen and this is just something that I definitely would not purchase. It doesn't have a price on it, but I'm sure it's going to be up there in price as well too. Um but I literally just don't I don't know, I just don't trust any of the Kylie Skin products only because of all the things that she did when it was like first coming out and she like looked really shady and she looked like she wasn't even using her own products. I was just like if she's not using her own products, why am I going to want to use them? You know what I mean? Um, but be honest with me. Let me know if you guys have used Kylie Skin and what you guys think about it because I really am curious. But this, I would definitely not purchase. All right, y'all. So I keep hearing good things about Pure. I've never really tried anything from Pure except for the thing that came in. Actually, it's sitting right here. Um, it came in the February box of, but what is it called? Boxy. I keep on wanting to call it Birch Box from Boxy Charm. This is the Pure product that came in there. I did not like it at all. Um, 
But you guys, everyone keeps on telling me good things about Pure. However, they did a um, uh, collaboration with Trolls. I'm assuming Trolls the movie. Well, actually it says Trolls World Tour. But there's just something about these types of palettes that it looks so cheap to me and so like blah. Okay, there's a brand at the 99 cent store. Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of the brand, but if you guys shop at the 99 cent store, there's a specific brand that's always at the 99 cent store, and this is exactly what the palettes look like. And to me, it just looks really, really cheap, and it could be good, but a palette layout like this, I don't know, I just don't like it, and I kind of feel like they're obviously all in one component, there's no separation, so I feel like it gets a little bit messy if there's kickback in the palette. And overall, I just don't like the aesthetic of it, I feel like what i don't know i personally just don't like it um but if you guys buy it let me know how you like it all right y'all this month i actually have a pretty short list i'm surprised um the last thing is, that's gonna be on my palette i love 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 kimchi however she is coming out with a new highlight palette and see i guess you know what maybe it's just me right now maybe i'm just kind of like uh, like i don't need any highlighters i have so many highlighters and i feel like no matter what highlighters all tend to look the same like say for example if you have one that has you know like a bronzy undertone to it and somebody else comes out with a bronzy undertone it's gonna look the same you know what i mean like there's really nothing too different about it obviously yes like i mentioned earlier the anastasia one that has um you know the little shift to it that'll turn green or blue like that makes sense um this one to me obviously it looks like there is a tannish one there's a icy one and then like a pinky one and then a super gold one you know it's just kind of like things that have already been done and i feel like everybody has highlighters at this point and no matter what correct me if i'm wrong y'all i have a lot of highlighters and Look, the only one that I see a really big difference with is um, the Fenty Beauty one, okay? And the reason why, and I mentioned this in so many videos, I had it right here, but I don't know where it went. I have a pile of makeup, just such a mess. Um, I use the Hustler Baby and Mean Money. Is that which one I use? I'm not too sure. Anyways, the reason why I like that one specifically is because it has a natural side and a dramatic side. So it's literally the best of both to me. So whenever I travel, I love taking that one because for the daytime, I'll use the left side and for the nighttime, I'll use the right one. So it has what I need. But overall, I feel like highlights just kind of look the same, in my personal opinion. Obviously, to each their own, everyone has a different opinion. But to me, I'm just like, I don't need that many highlights. And I don't know, it just looks kind of blah. Anyways, you guys, that wraps it up for my March Q a Q and a <laughs> <laughs> Q&A. Oh my gosh. That wraps it up for my March anti-haul. Not my Q&A. Um... Let me know down in the comment section what you guys are not purchasing for the month and always put the reason. You guys know this. Like, I really like to know the reason just because I'm nosy and I like to know why you don't want to buy something. Is it because of the price? Is it because of the packaging? Is it because of the color story? Let me know. Anyways, you guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.